job as an engineer, especially as a structural engineer, is that I have the opportunity to work on such a wide range of projects. I get to work on projects like high-rise buildings to airports to train stations and I think that really keeps my job challenging. One thing that has surprised me the most about being an engineer is uh, realizing how much of a, a team focus uh, job it is. Uh, like obviously in school you get taught all these very technical things and you think that you're constantly going to be just sort of isolated just doing a lot of calculations but in reality the job is much more um, interactive with other uh, colleagues and clients and subconsultants and and you get to interact with other industries with architects and um, industrial engineers and electrical engineers. What surprised me the most is that no matter what new challenges that get brought our way, we don't always have immediate answers for. Everyone who's from the entry level to the quote unquote seasoned veteran has to find the answers, whether you're using previous experience of how you went about a different problem to applying creative solutions or researching some new topics. Um, not everyone will have every answer for every issue. It's a process of continuing to learn and explore sort of the world and products around us to find the best solution towards those challenges. I don't think engineers are necessarily super, super quiet all the time. Get them talking about something they're passionate, just like anyone else, and you know, they will talk to you. I am on several calls a day. I am constantly talking to people, coordinating with different trades, maybe talking to team members to get some more insight on projects. You know, it's it's as social as you want to make it. And if you're the most exciting thing in my career is a hard question to answer. <laughs> I have been lucky to have traveled the globe as an engineer where I have been able to work in Europe, Asia and the USA by being an engineer. There's a difference between what you study in university versus what you actually do in the working life. But as Anybody coming out of college, anybody that's able to get closer to a working practice and to have spent time in the industry makes that understanding of what you're getting into much easier and that transition much easier as well. So I think that's probably the biggest thing is actually having a feel and an understanding before you get into the industry because it just makes it so much easier when you transition from being a graduate to a full-time employee. Um, I'm always learning something new. There's always more to learn and I feel like every day something new, something different, every project is different, so that keeps things exciting. It's just exciting and I feel proud of seeing something go from zero and a blank sheet of paper to something being built, actually tangible, being used by people. Um, it makes me proud of all the hard work and dedication and teamwork that was done all along the way. Yes, I would advise the young girls to not let the fact that it's a male-dominated environment uh, prevent them from joining the industry. I mean, an engineer, uh, for me, I've learned and I've noticed that the women in the industry and in my company are my biggest support system. They're my advocates, my mentors, they've supported me throughout my whole career. So if anything, there's power to that in women supporting women. Yeah, we're super into modeling and analysis and calculations. We have to be, right? Um, we do a lot of math. But I went into engineering thinking it would be like black and white answers, and I found um, there's really a lot of gray area. You're working with teams, you're working on persuasion, communication. Um, and so I think the longer you're out of school, the more you're developing these skills as well. So it's kind of a lifelong journey to be an engineer. I've been most surprised by the non-engineering work, the communication, teamwork, all those kind of presentation skills that you need to communicate with the rest of the design team to understand their design intent and then actually turn that into, uh, you know, something that will stand up and support everything that they're looking for. So when I was in high school, there was nothing like this program. I think ADEP is great because you get a chance to talk to individuals who are in the field they can tell you the highs and lows about what engineering is. 
They can also tell you what are the positive things that we do to society. So ADEP is really a great experience where you can really understand one, not just guidance in your coursework, but also guidance in terms of really finding insight into what the career profession is like, what you can do to better yourself or to put you in a position where you have, you can really excel in your career once you graduate from uh, college.